working on our lateral stability, mainly focusing on these obliques, the QL, and that latching that little latissimus dorsi, also called the lat down. We're just gonna just move on to our next plank variation, okay? So first one, we went here, we really hip in, work on the hip extension. This one here, we're gonna be this normal side plank here. So plant foot, really planting, back foot, really planting our pinky toe side. Again, last side elbow, making space here, lifting our hips up, squeezing our glutes, hipping forward. We can go here, we can go here, or we can go here. This is, helps your stability. This challenges you a little bit more. Again, maximum 10 seconds. And then when we're moving to the other side, we move to this position here. We hold this for 10 seconds, squeezing our glutes. This really helps with our stability of changing our movement, changing where we are in space. So then we're just moving around. Plank leg, pinky toe leg is our left foot. Hipping in, squeezing our glutes. Obliques, QL, all engaged, lat. We're either here, opposite shoulder, elbow tight, away or up. And then when we finish, we can come back here. We're keeping a steady, steady breath. The main thing with this exercise is staying tight with that elbow. The shoulder wants to get jammed up near your ear, you know, and then pinch, and people will complain a lot of shoulder pain with these type of work. That's what it's focused on really. When you're setting up, you're making this movement here, okay? You're not moving it, but you're doing, making that force into the ground to keep your space here. And you're engaging right here, right away. Like before you even lift, you should feel all this firing. So guys, this is the type of work that's gonna keep you stable in the lateral plane movement like I've mentioned before. And that's huge because sport is not played back and forth. It's played in all three planes of motion. That's why I have to train all these planes of motion. So apply this and keep progressing in these plank series. Throw it in your warm up, throw it wherever. And we can program it later in some other work, you know, or at the end of this DVD set, video set, but right now, just the movement itself, grease the groove, as Pavel said. Pavel Satsulini, grease the groove, meaning put it throughout the day, it accumulates, it adds up. The same way that bad movement patterns for me added up and causes a low back issue to happen for me. I started implementing this throughout the day. I have been for weeks now. And I feel like I'm stronger, more stable, more grounded, a better mover, better person <laughs> from doing this type of work. You know, because my movement patterns have changed because of adding this type of word throughout the day. So guys, apply that. Let me know how it goes. Peace.